here in Miami, Lone Depot Park. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the New York Mets taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab. Braxton Garrett. How about a scouting report on him? Well, this guy lives and dies with his slider, and it's a good one. Most guys, you know, they're working off of their fastball, but he's backwards a little bit, works off the slider, and then when the fastball comes, it can add a little velocity in terms of perception when guys are used to seeing that off-speed pitch. When it's right, really tough to hit. Even if you guess it's coming because it's breaking two planes, horizontal and vertical. Here comes a 3-2. Bounce to the right. Now the throw to first on the run. There to beat him by an eyelash. Ronnie Mauricio now. Next pitch is outside. Good plate oh, appearance yeah, there. Well. Able to take the walk. That's a nice at bat and a great take on 3 2. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. One gone runner at first. Pete Alonso digs in now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. pitch swing and a miss and it's three and two with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here fouled off again and it remains three and two the idea was right looking to locate that fastball up and in he just missed his spot a little bit and a swing and a miss now two away Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. He found a way to just get it by him. And now it's Frankie Lindor. And a ball and two strikes. Rips one to right, and that's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now it's Mark Vientos. Next pitch misses, and it's three and two. First and second, two down. Swings and misses, struck him out. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. here in Lone Depot Park and on the hill in this one Jose Buto Chris what should we keep an eye on here with him he really needs to be able to throw all three of his pitches for strikes in this one otherwise these hitters are going to start sitting on pitches you know you've got to try to get the swing and miss with the curveball and you've got to move your pitches around don't get too comfortable on one side of the plate unless they're showing that they just can't hit that spot now it's the second baseman Luis Arias and a pitch so a foul ball makes it one and two. Right-hander kicks deals. 
Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Jorge Soler up at the plate. That one finds the zone. Now three and two. One down, base is empty. Stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Now fly ball to right center. Stewart settles under it. He makes the grab. And there's two down. Batting third. The first baseman. Here's Josh Bell. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Lindor makes the play and it's out number three. And one, two, three go the Marlins. We played an inning. No score. All set for the start of the inning. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. The 2-1. The 2-1 is high. Baden checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And he went around, says Ricky Holiday. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One gone here. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And next for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. The 1-1. One, one. And that's through there for a strike. Bounce to the left side. Slings to first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Batting it. The right field. DJ. Stewart. Now it's DJ Stewart. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Looked like it was a little bit up. Nowadays, with advanced metrics and increased use of moving the infielders around, defense isn't necessarily about making errors. Are you able to get to the ball? Are you able to position fielders where guys hit the ball, but within the new shift rules? 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. They take the force out, and that'll do it. Mets leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Miami, and now Jazz Chisholm Jr. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Yeah. 
Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Throws to second, and he's out. Trying for two. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. And it is two and one. Good eye right there. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP. At home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not always predictable, but it's pretty fair for the most part. He's got it, and there's two away. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. And at the plate for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. On the ground to the left, and it stays fair. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Runner at first with two away. Now it's the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Marlins leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. So coming into the game now on defense, Garrett Hampson. He'll be patrolling center field. Rafael Ortega stands in. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. The 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. The 1-2. That one is upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. On the ground, right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So up next for New York, Ronnie Mauricio. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sanchez gets under it. Makes the catch. And there's one down. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. Ortega at first, one gone. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one. And that's two. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4-6-3, inning, ending double play. Set for the bottom of the third, John Birdie at the plate. 
Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Just missed. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. There's a strike. And the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And he deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And here it comes. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Jacob Stallings now. And the righty deals. In the air, right side. Stewart makes the grab one away. Up next to the line. The second baseman. Luis Arise stands in. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Runner, the pitch. Yes, yes. Runner on the goal. Yeah, the 2 1 hammered, but foul. Here comes a pitch. Now a slow roller to second. Mauricio tosses to first, and there are two outs. And now here's the Marlins DH, Jorge Soler. Glide out his first time. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. And one and two. Righty delivers. Got him swinging. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Here at the ballpark, Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. Swing and a foul straight back. Next pitch misses outside, and the count is 2-2. Two Liner. Hampson pulls it down. And there's one away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Falling behind two and one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Now that is the third base hit. Yeah. Next to hit, Brett Beatty. The 1 1. Good eye right there. Vientos leads off first with one away. Steel. Runner on the goal. 
Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag out at second. Not a fast runner on the base path, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. And right back to the mound. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Onto the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. Welcome back. Josh Bell at the plate now. The first baseman, Josh Bell. The 1-1. One, one. And that's down and away. 2-1 and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. That's in there. 2-2 two and two now. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Here's Garrett Hampson. Entered the game on defense, so this is his first trip to the plate in this one. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Uh-oh, that got him. And the potential winning run is aboard. You know, the best way to forget about the pain is inflicting some pain and working your way around the bases and touching home plate is a way to stick it to that other team. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Trevor Gott getting ready to go. Garrett getting loose as well. One, two now. Three. Got him. Two gone. Brian De La Cruz getting ready to hit, and he's already singled in this game. The pitch. Foul ball there. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. In the air, right field. Stewart moving to his left. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that's the inning. One left for Miami. And we are still scoreless. And welcome back. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Francisco Alvarez. pitch oh that got him and the go-ahead run is on base to lead off the inning that really wasn't a bad pitch at all but hitters these days just aren't afraid to get up on top of the plate Alvarez gets his lead at first with nobody out tap back to the mound throw is high and over his head and they won't get him, and he goes first to third on the error. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Tim Locastro up now for the Mets. The next pitch misses, and now three and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Oscar Brazoban, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Weathers, the lefty, warming up as well. 
kicks and deals. Ripped into right center for a base hit. In comes the runner from third, and it's 1-0. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Picks himself up in RBI. Just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just launched the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. Back to the top of the Mets order. Rafael Ortega up now for the Mets. One for two. Taps softly to the right side. To first. Run scores, and that makes it 2 0 as they get the out. Now the Marlins manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Braxton Garrett won't go any further, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. New pitcher for the Marlins, Oscar Brazoban. Well, this offense has great opportunity to add on right here with a runner at third, less than two outs. So they're asking him to come through in a big way out of the bullpen. He's got bases to work with, so he doesn't have to challenge this guy too much if he doesn't want to. And stepping in for New York, Ronnie Mauricio. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Still only one out here in the inning. Here's the sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Fly ball down the line. Sanchez gets under it. Makes the catch in and over. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets two and the Marlins nothing. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Grant Hartwig. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Leading off, Jesus Sanchez. Struck out swinging his first time. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Ripped on the ground a second. Mauricio with the throw to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The batter, number five. Shortstop. John. And the batter now, John Birdie. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. I think baseball starting to understand that those guys are valuable like they once were. They need him in this game today. Next offering misses. Ball two. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. The why to kick the pitch. On the ground, out to short. On to first, ball game. And the Mets claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. 
Well, a low scoring ball game in this one. Two nothing game, few errors, pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.